there, happy hippos. Today, we have a story to read about an ant who should be working, but he decided to take break. The title of this book is An Ant's Day Off. Look at him in that flower. He's just relaxing, taking a nap, while all his other ant friends, look, it's on the back too, all his other ant friends are working, taking a piece of this donut back to their home to feed everybody. He probably should be helping, but you know, everybody needs a break once in a while. I'm taking the day off, said Bart. I'm tired of working. No ant has ever taken the day off, his friend Floyd reminded him, nervously glancing about. Never in the history of antdom. Bart and Floyd were sand ants. They spent their days under the ground working all the time. They had never seen the sky or felt the rain. But this morning, as Bart toiled about the mound of sand he was to move from tunnel 929B to tunnel 49A, he glanced up. High above was a glimmer of blue, far and away, and it called to him, Come, little ant, come out and play. You must work and work and work some more, Floyd said, seeing the wild gleam in Bart's eye. Happiness is a finished chore. But it was too late. Bart threw down his load of sand and began to climb. Don't, cried Floyd. They'll never let you back in. Up and up, Bart scrambled until his head popped out into a bright spring day. He nearly fainted with the shock of it all. The sky was too high to imagine an end to it. A breeze tugged at his antenna, and the sun felt golden warm on his head. Get a move on, barked a stern ant guarding the nest. Food patrol is over there. Bart hurried down the mound to join the line. All the other ants kept their eyes straight ahead and their noses to the ground as they marched toward the remains of a giant bagel. But Bart saw an opening in the grass and scurried away. He came to a broad river. Row, said a voice. Row, said another voice. Bart peered around the edge of a water iris. He saw two frogs. Gently down the stream, said one frog. Merrily, 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 said the other frog. And together they croaked, life is but a dream. Bart hopped onto a leaf lying near the water's edge and pushed himself into the stream. Hello, he cried to the frogs. Then, to his horror, the larger frog snapped a fly into its mouth. The smaller frog eyed Bart hungrily. The frog's tongue flicked out, but just then the current picked up and Bart floated out of reach. The little frog settled back with a blink. Row, he croaked. Row, croaked the big frog. Inside his head, Bart heard a tiny voice. It sounded just like Floyd. Always work, never rest. You see what comes of idleness, the Floyd voice said. Perhaps I should go back to the nest, Bart thought. Suddenly, his leaf caught on a branch and spun to a stop. Bart scrambled to the shore. A tall dandelion stood in his way. Maybe he would see just a bit more of the world before he went back. What is he going to do? He's looking up at this tall dandelion. He thinks if he can climb all the way to the top, he can see a lot more of the world that's out there. I think he's right. The petals were soft. The sun was warm. For the first time in his life, Bart wasn't doing anything. Don't you feel bad? The Floyd voice said. 
lying here, lazy and useless, while your fellow ants struggle below? I guess I do, Bart thought, but it was very pleasant just the same. He yawned and closed his eyes. Was this a nap? He'd heard tales of such things back in the nest. He does look really relaxed. Taking a break from his work, taking a nap. It's important to take a nap when you're feeling tired. Just close your eyes for a few minutes and then when you wake up, your body's ready to start working and playing again. The air beat against him in gentle tickling waves. Hmm, Bart murmured. Ah, he rolled over. Hovering above him was a huge honeybee brimming with pollen. Down she came, landing right on top of him. Help, he squawked. The bee busily gathered her pollen, then took off, taking Bart with her. All this yellow dust you see on the bee's legs, that's the pollen that sticks to her legs when she lands in a flower. And when she flies from flower to flower, all the pollen gets mixed up and it helps the flowers grow. She flew up and down and up and down. Bart could see sky and field and sky and field. Ah! A sneeze tickled at his nose. Ah-choo! Bart fell down, down, down and landed with a whoop on another dandelion. He scrambled to his feet. I'm alive, he cried, and I'm probably the only sand ant ever in the history of antdom to fly. Bart didn't notice the dark clouds in the sky. Plop, plop, plippity plop, plop, plop. Bart looked up, his first ever rain. Splosh, splosh, raindrops burst upon him. The dandelion swayed. Bart slipped off into a puddle and came up gasping. He had to get back to the nest. They'll never let you in. Floyd's words came rushing back. Get a move on. Never stop. Never tarry. An ant who wastes time will never marry. They all came back to him. The words every ant heard from the day he was hatched. I bet you some of them are wondering where Bart went. Floyd knew that Bart walked up to the sky, but I don't know if anybody else knows. He staggered up to the entrance of the nest. There at the top stood the guard ant. Bart realized with a horrible start that he carried nothing. No lace bug wing, no bagel crumb, not even a grain of sand. Nothing useful. Halt, cried the guard. Who goes there? It's me stammered Bart. Bart, the sand ant. Sand ant? What are you doing out here? Wild lies flashed through Bart's head. Maybe he could say he was kidnapped by earthworms or that he was blind. I took a day off, Bart whispered. I'm not doing anything. I'm being totally and completely useless. I floated down a stream, I almost took a nap, and I flew on a bee, but that was mostly by mistake. A day off, said the guard. You took the day off? Bart nodded miserably. The guard paused and then said quietly, I took a day off once, long ago. You did? breathed Bart. Don't tell anyone, snapped the guard. Not a peep, never a word. Still, if you'll pick up that moth wing and make it snappy, I'll let you back in. Always bring back a bit of something, muttered the guard as Bart slipped past. That's what the others do. Others? Bart asked. Sometimes, the guard said softly. Well, sometimes an ant just needs to look at the sky now, doesn't he? Then he frowned and turned away. Bart hurried to tunnel 929B. Floyd had cleared away his mound of sand and Bart's too. I'll do twice as much tomorrow, 
Bart promised. Tell me about your day off, Floyd whispered. Tell me everything. And Bart did, once, twice, again and again, all through the long summer. Bart told Floyd about sun and frogs and rain. Bart's friend was really interested to hear about Bart's day. And one day, when it was nearly fall, Bart found Floyd standing stock still, staring up at that sparkle of blue. I couldn't, Floyd gulped. Bart laid down his grain of sand. Come on, I'll show you. But, but, wait a minute, cried Floyd. Never ever in the history of antdom has an ant taken a second day off. Bart just grinned, and the two friends began to climb. Look at how happy they look. Happy to take a break from their work. Everybody needs a break sometimes to rest and relax. I hope they have a good day. That's the end. I hope you have a good day too. Do some of your work. Take a little rest. Do some more work. Take a little rest. Sounds like a good day. Bye, hippos.